Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how to insert a PDF on the OneNote iPad app. All right, let's have a look at this idea of putting a PDF into your OneNote when you're using the OneNote app. Now, what we're going to do today is I'm going to access mine from my OneDrive storage. If you don't have something like an online storage, which is attached to your iPad, you will actually need to have the PDF itself on your device before that happens. So let's have a look at what that means or what that looks like. So what I'm gonna do is at the top ribbon there is I'm going to just move over to insert. So it's just here and we've moved over here to insert. Now, when I tap the page, very important where you tap, you can see, I know you can't kind of physically see me touching the screen, but here I tapped my finger there because that's where I want the top left-hand corner of the PDF to go. Now, what I'm going to look for next is this guy up here where it says PDF. So I'm going to tap that on my screen and you can see that it's starting to browse my iPad for the PDF document that I may want. Now, if I just go, I'm going to go back a step here just to explain what I meant before, is that these here are my browsing options and you can see here that I'm accessing my OneDrive. So you might not have a OneDrive, it depends on how your organization works. You might have an iCloud Drive and that's where you put your information or it might be stored directly um, here on your iPad itself. For me though, I am going to just stick with that OneDrive option because that's where I have things stored. And I'm gonna tap on files here. And then I'm, I should have it saved here somewhere. I'm gonna to scroll to look for it. Now, what you'll notice you'll see here on the screen is see how these doc X's, which are just Word documents, they're very faint. I can't actually, if I'm tapping the screen right now, I can't actually act, um, open them. I can't do anything with them. But this guy down here, I can. So this equivalent fractions one document, it doesn't come out kind of grayed out or shaded. I can actually tap on that one. Then it's going to start to prepare the file and there we have it. It was really actually that simple. Now, when this does happen, I kind of have a few little best practice things that I like is that if you don't need the students to let download the document, this guy here, that's the physical file. If they don't need it, Okay, what we do is we just delete that. Okay, if I want to move this document up, if I, I tapped once on the screen, okay, I just pick up this little cursor here in the middle and I can shift this document up. You can also kind of stretch the document there like I've done. Okay, if you make any changes there that you weren't happy with, see up here, we've got this little reverse arrow. Let me just indicate it up there, top left-hand corner. I can go back, back until I've got it how I like it. Now, if you're working in a stylus enabled environment, as in you actually want the kids to actually fill in these blank areas, what I'm going to recommend, because this has gone in basically like an image, is to tap on the image. And we're looking for the last option here to set as a background. Okay, so when we do that, I can no longer delete that image. It's not going to move or shift around the screen so if i was to go into draw and i might you know i can even use my, my my finger if i really want to there but i will you know i can come in here and i can draw all over the screen but i can't as much as i try i can't change or move that image around which would be different to i know this one's set as well they're both set which is great okay so just keep that in mind is definitely something um i always see when i'm in classrooms is that some kids will be working on it and then they'll accidentally delete it okay their work will still be there if they've written anything that will stay okay but they need to bring the image back all right guys i hope you find that useful and we will see you again soon cheers if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and to keep up to date don't forget to follow us if you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.